at the valedictory session of the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit in Visakhapatnam on behalf of the state government I thank you all for making this summit a success and I'm overwhelmed by the confidence reposed on behalf of the state I'd like to say that this association is of immense value and we commit to ensure that your investment in the state would flourish and you can be assured of our support in all your endeavors. This phenomenal optimism that we have witnessed during the past two days would encourage us to redouble our efforts in making the business environment in the state more conducive and more welcoming. Over the past three and a half years of my government, we have seen the economy reviving at a relatively faster pace, owing to the timely impetus we have given to the several sectors. We could ensure that the consumption and investment has not taken a nose dive even during the times of severe economic turbulence caused by the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Good governance and effective policy intervention by our government has not only safeguarded the economy and kept deficits under control and has also ensured that the business ecosystem is not jeopardized. During this period, we have carefully laid the path for facilitating a conducive business environment, strengthening the infrastructure, improving the skills of our youth, making internet and broadband far more accessible, and so forth. The summit is being organized at a very crucial juncture, and I am indeed very glad that this summit has played a key role in projecting Andhra Pradesh as a favored investment decision for both the national and international investor community. During this summit, we organized 15 sector sessions with over 100 speakers in these 15 sector sessions, showcasing Andhra Pradesh our growing strengths. These 15 focus sectors included automobile and EV sector, agri processing, healthcare, and medical equipment, renewable energy, green hydrogen, tourism, and so on and so forth. In addition to, the, in addition to this, we also had four country sessions for UAE, Netherlands, Vietnam, and Western Australia for, explores, for exploring opportunities for collaboration with Andhra Pradesh. Our exhibition arena had special focus on our AP pavilion, highlighting one district, one product theme with 137 exhibition stalls. I am indeed very happy that over the past two days, we had several bilateral meetings with ministers, delegations from foreign countries, diplomats, ambassadors, global and domestic industry leaders. These meetings have been very fruitful and I am very happy that our efforts in making Andhra Pradesh one of the most attractive investment destinations is yielding commendable results. With respect to the firm commitments to partner with the state, I wish to convey that commensurate with the overwhelmingly positive business sentiment, we have executed 352 MOUs with an investment commitment of over 13,5663 crores and an employment potential of over 6,3223 to offer.
In the energy sector alone, 40 MOUs have been signed worth 8,84,823 crores of investment, creating an employment potential of 1,90,000 families. In the IT and ITES sector, 56 MOUs were also signed, amounting to 25,587 crores of investment with an employment potential of 1,4442 people. In the tourism sector, another 117 MOUs have been signed and the investment to the tune of 22,000 crores with an employment potential of 30,787 people. I wish to point out that one of, the, one of the sectors into which significant investments were committed is the renewable energy sector. These proposed investments into renewable energy generation, pump storage and production of green hydrogen and green ammonia would go a long way in mitigating the intermittency associated with renewable energy and render it a credible alternative to fossil fuel based generation. This would make a significant contribution in green energy space to India's commitment towards achieving net zero. I'm thankful to you all I'm thankful for your trust and faith in Andhra Pradesh and in our government especially. I sincerely request all of you to move from the MOU stage to grounding of your investments in Andhra Pradesh at the earliest. We are committed to facilitate speedy and hassle-free conversion of these MOUs signed into actual investments. To enable this, we are forming a monetary committee consisting of the Chief Secretary himself and the CMO officials together with the Special Chief Secretary Industries. This committee will meet every week and closely follow up on the implementation of these MOUs. This committee will sort out all the day-to-day -day issues faced by you and will facilitate the speedy grounding of these investments. Assuring you all that our government will demonstrate our speed of facilitating business as well. Today we have also witnessed the inauguration of 14 industrial houses with an, indus with an investment of approximately 3,841 crores and an employment which has been generated to the extent of 9,108 jobs. In fact, it gives me great pride to do these inaugurations online. This reflects the implementation mindset of, the, of our government for grounding and facilitating your investments in the state. And I wish you all the very best as you commence your journey forward, assuring you that you will find an environment that welcomes you, that guides you, provides you access to enabling infrastructure and skilled manpower, mitigating the risks associated with your business and effectively rendering your investments mutually rewarding to both you and the state of Andhra Pradesh. I once again thank you all for the trust reposed in the state of Andhra Pradesh and making this event a phenomenal success. Thank you once again.